Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on the final part of the Sakurai interview with Hobo Nichi about Satoru Iwata. In this part, Sakurai spoke about the fact that when Iwata was hospitalized, he didn't get a chance to visit him. This is because Sakurai was engrossed with his work, which was Smash for Wii U and 3DS's DLC. He then heard the news of Iwata's passing from Takahashi Shinya. He was home at the time, and before picking up the phone, his heart sank. He had had the same feeling when he heard his grandparents had passed away. But after hearing the news, he decided to make it his mission to see Smash Brothers become a success. After all, during the development of Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS, there was talk about developing a new Smash for the Switch, one which would become a definitive edition. He feels that Smash Ultimate has achieved his original goal, and it went on to sell extremely well all over the world. As for his next mission, he states that only God knows. He feels that the DLC he is creating now is already outside of his original mission. Reflecting on his time that he knew Iwata, Sakurai says that he met with Iwata when he traveled to Tokyo quite often. Sakurai would go to his hotel room, and sometimes the two would share meals together. Iwata would often recommend books to Sakurai. In addition, when Sakurai worked at HAL, Iwata referred to him as Sakurai-kun. After Sakurai left, Awada started calling him Sakurai-san, which signified the sense that Awada saw him as an equal. So, in the end, Sakurai feels that Awada was a very sincere person. But that's all he had to say during this interview. Those are all the highlights, and we'd like to thank Push Dust In for the translations and summations of all these interviews that Sakurai had about Satoru Iwata. It paints the picture of just as good of a man as everybody says he is, and how he inspired people to work harder. So it just goes to show what Sakurai did to achieve his goals, to honor Iwata, and reflect on him at this time. But what do you guys think of all these interviews? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Nintendo and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.